hey what's up so I will show you now how we can watch our files to uh, reload the browser whenever anything changes so I will start by creating uh, another gulp task called watch uh, JavaScript and SCSS so this will accept a callback this is how I will tell gulp that this function have ended or this task or this task have been ended so first thing I will get all the JavaScript files like this so think we didn't we still did not touch anything about JavaScript we will do that but for now I'll just put everything here for the JavaScript and the SAS so sync will return an array of all the file paths that matches the path that I will give it so join path then this will go to our source then I will go to JavaScript then I will go everything inside this folder no matter how nested they are in, it, in any directory go and grab everything that ends with JavaScript okay and I will do the same so let me copy paste this to the SAS files but I will go to the SAS and anything that ends with SAS you can actually simplify this right you can create a function that replace these hard coded strings but yeah I like to make things simple in my build uh, stuff in gulp and webpack so any developer can read them so what can we what we can do now is use the watch function from gulp so let's import that we have this watch function copy it put it here so let's watch everything so this an this is an array of files right a, a files paths so let's watch all of that and let's whenever something happened that make them change if you change them manually or, or anything change them you need to execute a couple of tasks so I'll put a series here so execute a series which are uh, compile JavaScript and minify JavaScript right because if you think about it I want I don't need to run these two at the same time I need to wait for this JavaScript to be compiled then minify it and same thing for the SAS files I will compile the SAS then minify it um, yes and that should be it for the watchers so let's get this put this or copy this and put it here so let's watch uh, this these files before running the development server and let me just console log these files so you can see them okay now let's run npm run dev so as you can see oops yeah let me just um, we ha these are the JavaScript files it's an empty array and these are the SAS files so it's watching the main SAS and the section SAS even though section is nested in another folder right so this is really nice and let me just remove these or oh, you know this is watching them right so let's go now and open our main.css and let's open our main.sass alongside and let's just compare what will happen when we change anything so this color I will ch change it to uh, green so as you can see it's immediately got catched and recompiled but we need to refresh the browser manually so let's just test this again so let's change this to uh, dark cane so as you can see it's got everything uh, got matched or got cached by gulp the changes got cached and everything got compiled so let's do this again one more time uh, on the section so let's put the section here and let's open the section on the left so this won't be green this will be dark blue and notice the terminal so it's only compi compiled SAS so this what happened it's compiled SAS finished then minify it okay so this is really nice uh, we, we need to have a section for this to work as you can see so section I uh, will have a text inside of it saying hi so I refresh this manually you need to always refresh this manually so now I will show you how we can actually refresh this using browser sync functionality so I'll create another gulp task called reload 
uh, browser this will accept a callback so I can mark it as completed when it's when everything finishes and when will this finish after I use browser sync and call the reload function oops the reload function and I will put this at the end of this series oops this is a command a dot so whenever you compile JavaScript minify it then reload the browser same thing to the SAS you compile the SAS minify it reload the browser so let's now start from the start and PM run dev okay yeah uh, now it's now it's uh, running so let me put this here and let me go to our uh, main.css let me change the background color to black and notice the browser it's got refreshed automatically this is really nice uh, let me open it yeah I can open it here let me open the terminal so you can see what's what everything what you can see everything uh, I will change this to white so as you can see we compiled the SAS minify it reloaded the browser uh, a series of tasks I will return this to black uh, I will do something that I think it's really interesting or at least it's, it's telling the developer what we are watching for so these console log JavaScript files and SAS files I will remove them and I will output them in a pretty format okay so actually console have a lot of stuff we have groups we have tables uh, I highly recommend that you read about the console object and these functions inside of it the log uh, the table you can actually it's really powerful you can put s uh, CSS styles inside these log statements you can change the color uh, you can put table I'll show you the table one so I will put cancel table the JavaScript files and the SAS files so let's run npm run dev you will see a table as you can see I mean this will open the browser they don't care so this is the um, the files we are watching these are the JavaScript these are the JavaScript files and these are the SAS files as you can see but let's make the output a little bit more clear so what I will do I will from from the path module which is already installed in which is already built in Node.js I will get the base name and I will map these so map each name each path I will pass it to the base name this will return only the file name from any path you have which is very nice so I will copy this and oops, put it here and another thing I will console log so oops, console log uh, SAS files JS files so let's quit that and run it again we should see something which is which looks more uh, beautiful so we have these SAS files as a table only the names and the JavaScript files we don't have anything at the moment so this is a good way to tell the developer what we are watching for so let's make it uh, a, little, a little bit more uh, beautiful so I think we installed a package called color no we don't so let's in install a package called colors this is a development dependency as well the only thing you need to do to use that is to require to, to require it and that will be it and this will make this allows you to color your strings in the terminal okay I will put a link in the description for this package so you can read about it and there's a website called emojipedia so I will get I mean it's silly I know but uh, I see a lot of people do it they will put uh, an emojis inside your terminal and inside the output so when you run a command they will have these emojis so I'll show you how we can do it so I will grab this eye I mean this is one way there's a lot of ways there is some packages that gives you uh, predefined icons inside your terminal but I'll just copy paste this icon which is a character by the way so let's put it here so I'll put the back sticks I will put it uh, here and I will say I'll put also these uh, dollar sign then uh, 
كلي براكس to inject string here or to inject a variable here I will put an empty I will put just a string dot sass like this or sass as a string then dot I will color it to magenta and files we will watch might look stupid but it's, uh, I think it's nice then I will make it bold so I will do the same thing for the JavaScript but this will be JS and will be yellow uh, JavaScript we will files we will watch okay so now if you run npm run dev npm run dev I think it's it's, it's not being colored uh, maybe because but the JavaScript colors got colored I think you know I will just Maybe Maybe this color is not does not exist. So I will put it cane. Yeah now SAS is getting is getting colored. So JavaScript files we will watch this list or this table and this is the SAS files we will watch. So yeah that's basically it. Uh, it's really simple so just to recap we are exporting this default series which executes this tasks these tasks these two tasks in parallel at the same time when these two tasks are finished it will go and execute these two tasks as well when these two are finished it will go and execute our watch JavaScript and SAS so, so this will go and watch our uh, everything inside our JavaScript folder and SAS folder no matter how nested they are inside their directories there and whenever anything changes for the for the SAS for example it will go and call the compile SAS then minify it and these will await for each other since we use the series function then reload the browser so, but there is something we forgot so what happen if I remove this and say hello YouTube so the browser won't refresh we need to refresh it oh yeah let me just run this okay let's remove this return this to gulp hello gulp so it won't get refreshed we need to refresh it manually because I think this is obvious we are not watching the HTML files so what we need to do is to create another what file watcher and just the only thing we need to watch is I will sync then I will join I will go to our path then I will only go to any file that ends no matter how this nested this file is that ends in HTML so I will watch these this will only be one file it's our index I won't compile SAS I won't minify the CSS I will just reload the browser when this is changed right uh, I think this is obvious so let's now run it uh, let's wait when for this to open I think we need all its space here okay so this opened let's go to our uh, HTML let's open it here uh, hello world so it's got updated let's now change this to white oops yeah so it's actually working so this is really nice uh, I will continue with the JavaScript and compiling JavaScript but I think this should give you a, a, a very good idea about uh, gulp.js and how you can use it and remember there is a repo uh, there is a repo on github in my account the link in the description you can check uh, that all of this out everything is there um, and thank you